Okay, so Mortal Kombat 1 has been released and it's also been released on the Nintendo Switch and well, <laughs> I've got some thoughts on that. So if you go there now, you see that Mortal Kombat 1 is $70 on the Nintendo Switch. And for other platforms, it's the same price. So here's the PlayStation 5, 70 bucks. And then here's the Xbox version, which is also $70. And there's also a more premium version you could buy as well. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the Nintendo Switch being the same price as the other platforms. But there's some issues because, wow, when you look at the graphics um, on the Nintendo Switch version, uh, let's just say it's not quite up to the same level. Uh, as it would be on the other platform. So uh, IGN did a really great comparison uh, between the Nintendo Switch versus the other consoles. And there's clearly a huge qualitative difference. It's just, yeah, it's just laughably comical. And the thing is, I don't really blame that too much on the hardware per se. Because if you didn't know, the Nintendo Switch hardware is based upon the same hardware that's used by like streaming boxes like the NVIDIA Shield, which is what I have. So that is a Tegra 1 uh, processor. So it's definitely old and it's definitely way underpowered whenever you compare it to, you know, these more modern systems. And so that's something that I definitely understand. But then at the same time, you know, we have seen really amazing looking games on the Nintendo Switch, you know, like the Zelda games, Mario games, and many others that really do way better graphically than what we see here in Mortal Kombat. However, it looks like, well, they will be addressing this. So Ed Boon, the creator or one of the creators of Mortal Kombat, has says that um, Mortal Kombat 1 will absolutely be getting an update on the Nintendo Switch. And well, this kind of makes me think of this whole modern gaming thing. I'll probably complain about this forever, but this is the thing that I really hate about modern games where they will release a game that is basically not completely done. And these companies know that. And so they'll go ahead and release it and they will eventually release some type of fix. However, when they release the fix, I think it's really dependent upon the reception by the audience. And so, in my opinion, I don't think as many people would actually complain about this if the graphics were okay. But if they're bad, obviously there's going to be more complaints. And because of more of this complaints, that's going to hurt sales early on. And so, in that case, companies will probably have to respond and release these fixes sooner. Or at least say that they're going to do something about it. Even though they knew all along that this is a problem. And they released a game that was basically unfinished. So, if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my retro gaming videos or gaming news videos, I do have playlists for that. I'll leave it in the description area below. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.